Vatican global premiere of the letter, film featuring Pope Francis, Cardinal Parolin, Senior Smerily, and environmental protagonists partake in the global premiere of the letter film, featuring Pope Francis' participation, on 4th of October, the Feast of St. Francis of Assisi, in the Vatican's new Senate Hall. The documentary is devoted to protecting and saving our common home. The global premiere of the letter film, with the participation of Pope Francis, took place on Tuesday in the Vatican's new Senate Hall, in the midst of leaders in the Church, including Cardinal Pietro Parolin and Cardinal Michael Cherney, the scientific community, ambassadors and press. The screening of the documentary The Letter, A Message for Our Earth, which was produced by Oscar-winning Off the Fence Productions and presented by YouTube Originals, took place on October 4, the Feast of St. Francis of Assisi, a day which also marked the Holy See's official entry into the Paris Agreement on Climate Change. Experts estimate that by 2050 some 1.2 billion people will be displaced globally due to climate change. Vatican Secretary of State, Cardinal Pietro Parolin, had hosted and recalled an event earlier in the day with ambassadors and other leaders to discuss how to accelerate the implementation of the Paris Agreement. Addressing those present, the Cardinal discussed the significance of these two events coinciding on the Feast of St. Francis of Assisi. While calling for prayers and an entrusting of the situation to St. Francis, he made an appeal for protecting the environment through concrete action, dialogue, and working together, especially as multilateralism declines. October 4 is also the feast day of St. Francis, Cardinal Parolin said, let us entrust to him all our good intentions for a future, not too far off that is more in line with his teaching and example. Need narratives to inspire action? Margaret Burris, unscripted lead for YouTube Originals, offered her thoughts on how projects like this, can tell stories that matter. Dr. Lorna Gold, another protagonist of the letter and the president of the board of Laudato Si movement, emphasized the need for sharing narratives and stories, in order to inspire and motivate action. She said first we need to become heartbroken, seeing what is really going on, in order to rise up and react. Deborah Castellano Lubov, journalist of Vatican News, Vatican Radio, moderated the event, which offered simultaneous translations for the international guests attending. The film also demonstrated how the recent wildfires in Australia destroyed an incredibly vast territory. Following the event, the Australian ambassador to the Holy See, Chiara Poro, described the letter as an incredibly moving documentary of Pope Francis' call to action on climate change.